So hi, Micropunter here. Well, and today I want to do again a little bit of uh, water microscopy. No, it's not from a pond, but from this little uh, river. I don't know if you even can call it a river. <laughs> but uh, I want to take a water sample here and I want to put it under the microscope. Uh, and uh, what I want to do today is, is I want to find out if actually even now during winter time there are enough uh, water microorganisms uh, that uh, are sufficiently interesting. And I already have problems seeing because when I talk, my glasses start to fog up because as a matter of fact it's not even that warm today wow look at all those ducks here yeah and the next time i think i'm just gonna take also along some of the moss here fortunately i forgot my little plastic containers at home so i'm just gonna leave that here i remember a few months ago the water level almost reached all the way up to here um, but it's not been uh, raining or either snow even snowing in the last couple of uh, weeks very much here so okay maybe we're gonna be a little more lucky here should I really go down there I think it's gonna be really slippery and I think I'm not gonna do that now this is not uh, sewage water of course uh, but there are some fish ponds uh, right uh, behind here and uh, this is basically um, excess uh, water and the small waterfall over there that uh, they're using uh, this uh, to generate some electricity so um, yeah, the water is still reasonably clean here. Well, I am kind of a little bit concerned that the concentration of uh, water microorganisms still might be a little bit low. So I'm going to try something new today. Today I'm going to use a coffee filter to concentrate the water sample a little bit. Yeah, and that's how I'm carrying it home. Well, one of the problems uh, when looking at water samples under the microscope is, is that a lot of, uh, there are not so many water organisms directly in the free water. What you have to do is you have to look at the residue, some of the solid material, because many microorganisms uh, are attached uh, to solid uh, decaying plant material and so on. So I'm just going to put a small sample here on the slide. You've got to be able to see it with your unaided eye. And then if you can see it with your unaided eye, then there, the concentration will be uh, large enough. have to add a little bit more water here from the side because it was a little bit, uh, there was not enough of that. Goes under the microscope and then what do I see? The first thing that I saw, yes, algae, okay? Look at this, they're green and uh, they're algae. They do photosynthesis, of course, and even though it was winter and uh, basically I still found uh, those uh, algae floating around in the water. However, there were a lot of diatoms as well. Now these are also photosynthesizing um, al algae and uh, they have a silica shell. So they have very interesting and nice shapes. And I also found a whole range of them. Let's uh, go in a little bit further, zoom in a little bit further. You can see this, this brownish green color, that's the chloroplast. So they do photosynthesis and I don't know what that is. It must also be some kind of a diatom, but I don't know um, exactly. It looks a little bit strange, uh, but in any case, um, there is plenty of stuff um, visible, even in winter time. Uh, many of them actually also move, they glide along. I think that's also quite nice to see. Um, and uh, of course, a little bit of movement and motion makes every microscopy video much more interesting. But sometimes it's not only the diatoms that move, but sometimes the moving diatoms, they drag along some other particles as well, some debris, some decaying plant material, maybe soil particles, who knows. Um, however, many of them go back and forth all the time. They go into one direction and then they reverse, they go into the other direction. It does not seem to be very, in a very, I don't know, I would say it's coordinated, but not in a very directed manner. Um, so also this one here is a diatom. They have uh, very interesting and uh, varied shapes. Now look at this one. This diatom is quite interesting. This diatom has all other smaller diatoms growing on it. They are significantly smaller, but uh, they basically are also diatoms. And they can basically attach uh, to a surface. And in this case, they found a larger diatom to be carried along. Maybe that's actually a good way as well to explore new areas and to kind of uh, dissipate a little bit and to go to different places by simply attaching to another moving diatom. Yeah, here we go again. 
You, of course, you can see that the smaller ones, they also um, are brownish green. So they also have a chloroplast. I think that's the, this must be here a rotifer or something. This was the only, uh, there are not so many of those uh, actually that I found. Actually, this was the only one that I found. I happened to be quite lucky about that. Um, yeah, and they have a foot with which they're able to attach themselves. You notice that they are also a little bit green in the middle, and the reason is, is because these are the algae and diatoms that it has eaten. Here, yes, yet another one, another diatom, and these diatoms that are smaller here are also attached uh, to the larger diatoms. They look again a little bit different, so this seems to be uh, quite a common thing. I like the shape of this one here. I don't know if the the white yellow, uh, white uh, clear center of that is the nucleus of the cell. This could quite well be. In any case, uh, the shapes are very very varied, of course. Here now dark field, and of course this gives you a slightly different um, impression again. And they're gliding along happily. So yeah, winter microscopy is something uh, that you can do as well. And here again, this one is in time lapse now a little bit, um, so that you can see the motion and the movement a little bit better. You can see it's going back and forth, um, and maybe it needs the soil particle here to actually uh, move along. That would be quite interesting to see. It needs some maybe some kind of a solid surface, uh, and here, these two are also moving the particles. Now look at the one in the center, the one at top center. Look at look. Do you see the soil particle moving back and forth? So the diatom is now stationary, but the particle, the soil particle is moving. It's pretty fun, actually. So I only, so how many slides did I now make? Um, and I only made two slides. Two small water droplets are enough, and there are so many things to see. Yes, even in winter time, even though, of course, uh, microorganisms maybe not don't grow as much during winter because of the lower temperature, and there's also less light, and so there must must be less algae. But you know what I say? enough more than enough more than enough in any case um, just make sure when you collect water samples that you do not just take uh, the water from the top the, the, the from the water body itself but that you agitate the ground a little bit so that you also get some of the sediment uh, because many organisms they have settled down um, and can be found in the sediment and i guarantee you almost that uh, you will this will keep you busy for several days so I want to invite you over now both uh, to my Amazon affiliate web shop, link is below, to, and to my other microscopy related YouTube channels. One is called Microscopic Mysteries and I'm gonna basically put stuff under my stereo microscope and it's up to you to guess what it is. And also the second channel is more dedicated uh, also to the technical aspects of microscopy. It's called, I call it also micropuncture microscopy. It uh, has a very similar name. And I'm gonna be talking about the more technical aspects uh, relating uh, to microscopes. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.